In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at all of the products in Matador's new advanced series. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's jump right into the advanced series from Matador. Recently, Matador updated all of their products and even released a couple new ones. They call it the Advanced Series, and it includes the FreeFly 16, FreeRain 24 2.0, the Transit 30 2.0, the Flatpak Toiletry Bottle, Flatpak Soap Bar Case, and Flatpak Toiletry Case. If you've been keeping up with us, you know that we've done reviews on first versions of a lot of these products and we've also done a full review on the flat pack toiletry bottle as well as the flat pack soap bar case so go check those out if you're curious we do a huge detailed review on those items some of these reviews are in video form on our youtube channel and others are in text and photo form on our website overall matador has some really great design thinking with all their products going on and everything is usually highly compressible and they're very mindful of packing it in larger bags so let's jump right into each individual item in the advanced series. Kicking off with the FreeFly 16, this is basically the pack that replaces the Daylight version, the Daylight 16 that Matador previously had released. One thing to note here on the name is that we think Daylight was already taken by Osprey, so there's a bit of conflict of interest going on there in the same category. That's why we think they updated it to be named FreeFly. It offers one massive compartment and a smaller zippered partition on the front. There are two cinchable water bottle pockets on these sides with some improved stretchiness compared to the old Daylight 16. Plus there's a brand new harness system with stiffer mesh straps that are a tad crinkly but highly water resistant and don't soak in inclement weather. Moving on to the Free Rain 24 2.0. This is the second iteration of the first Free Rain and it's their highly weather resistant packable day pack, arguably waterproof. We've even tested it and submerged it and it works well, it keeps everything inside dry at a shallow depth. And it's pretty much airtight when you roll it up correctly. If you're planning to be in inclement, rainy weather for long stretches of time, this is definitely the pack to grab out of the entire bunch. And they made a couple of detailed improvements compared to the 1.0. The first thing on that list is a removable sternum strap. Now you don't necessarily need a sternum strap for a pack of this size, but if you have it really loaded up, it can help keep your load a little bit more balanced and more comfortable. There are two different ways to secure the top roll top. And one of those ways is like a typical dry bag, and this will keep it pretty much submergible, air and water tight when you implement it in this way. The second way to close this thing is a lot cleaner than the previous. You have additional buckles on each side here, you roll it down in the back and then you're able to kind of cinch it down and create a lower profile. This looks a lot better and great for usage in urban environments. Although when it's rolled in this mode, it won't be waterproof and submergible, although it'll still be highly weather resistant. Also, they've removed the load lifter straps from the harness system. And arguably, again, you don't need those for a pack of this size. However, when Nathan and Rebecca were each testing the Free Rain 24 1.0, they enjoyed the ability to adjust the straps based on their body types. So that covers the biggest changes, some great little improvements going on here to make it a better overall pack. Next, we've got the Transit 30 compressible duffel, and this thing is a beast. It's 30 liters and also highly compressible. We found this optimal to bring on your trip, especially if you plan to acquire more things on the road. So say you wanna bring back a bunch of souvenirs for your family, like some scarves or t-shirts or things like that, easily uncompress this 30 liter, stuff everything inside and boom, you have another duffel bag to fit all that stuff in. The material on all these are siliconized 30D Cordura ripstop that is puncture resistant. However, we'd still recommend putting softer items in the duffel and all these bags really, if you put in a lot of like square items that have harder edges, it's just gonna be uncomfortable to carry overall. So there are a couple key differences between the 1.0 and 2.0 as well. The duffel handle is now buttonable, making it a little bit easier to manage and carry. There are better pull tabs and looped attachment points on each side of the zippers. There's also a wider opening on the front zippered compartment, good for keeping quick grab items in that you want faster access to. Lastly, with all three of these bags, the compression pouches that they're stored in 
offer a roll top design instead of a drawstring design. Additionally, these are now detachable, which is a great little detail and improvement from the 1.0 versions. Moving on to the flat pack toiletry bottle and the soap bar case. These are handy little items you can use to keep your toiletries compressed and out of the way inside of your dop kit. The three ounce size of the toiletry bottles are ideal for TSA checkpoints, plus the flexible form factor and flatter design make them optimal for packing when compared to harder plastic bottles. The soap bar case is a nicer way to store shampoo bars and bars of soap on the road compared to a plastic bag that can tend to get more grimy. I'm not gonna get too much more into it. We have done two very detailed full reviews on both of these items that you can go check out on our YouTube channel and our website. Maybe they're even too long, but we like to get into all those details and provide them to you. Lastly, we have the flat pack toiletry case. Now we haven't had the chance to get our hands on this one yet, but it looks pretty slick. The closing mechanism is similar to that seen on the Freerain 24 and the soap bar case. It's a roll top that helps with weather resistance. So if you have this thing in the bathroom, in the shower, it's gonna keep it pretty dry with the siliconized Cordura to boot. Also, we appreciate the minimalistic thinking here and it's basically one giant compartment with a roll top where you can dump everything inside. Good if you don't require a lot of organization in your dop kit or your toiletry bag. Thanks for taking a look at our quick look on the Matador Advanced series. Be sure to stay tuned where we'll be doing a full in-depth and detailed review on the Matador Freefly 16. Thanks for taking a look at this video. We'll see you in the next one. And last, if you have been keeping us, they did a lot of iteration, had did a